How can you rebound when you feel that you've been worn down and you can't find the strength to be resilient and bounce back? Lynn, who works in an event management company, has been feeling worn down for a while. She's just realized that she used the wrong version of a presentation and her colleague Megan is working hard to recover from the mistake. Lynn can't seem to get the energy to make it right. She's telling herself that she can't bounce back. But Megan, who's a resilient professional, explains how she can. First, Megan tells her, stop blaming yourself. Don't let that negative voice inside your head get too loud. Face the fact that stress and fatigue lead to mistakes. Then she advises Lynn to acknowledge what's happening, both to herself and her colleagues. Everyone gets worn down and needs to recharge their batteries. And that takes time and space. Megan tells Lynn how she does it. She uses visual cues. They're visualizations of places and pastimes that she finds enjoyable and relaxing. She uses those cues when she needs to gather the energy to be resilient. For instance, Megan imagines she's adrift in a small boat on a calm lake. She lets go of the oars and is floating aimlessly. Then she makes a conscious decision to take them up again and head in a specific direction. On a mountainside overlooking spectacular scenery, Megan imagines she's stopped and just takes in the view. And then when it feels like the right time, she moves on purposefully. The moment has refreshed her. Megan suggests Lynn does the same visual exercises while she's working. They don't take long, just a few moments. Megan says she does them when she saves a file on her computer. She clicks the icon and she takes a moment to think of a relaxing place and time. Megan also recommends that Lynn change it up. Go for a walk if she's been sitting. Be silent if she's been talking. Or seek a colleague and have a chat if she's been silent. Lynn takes Megan's advice. The next time she's feeling low, Lynn acknowledges that she's burned out. She creates some relaxing visual cues to put space between her and the task, and she changes up her location, activity, or outlook. Try it every day, whenever you can.